The postman's just been and I have received some what looks like radio mail. Now unfortunately it doesn't feel like the parcel is big enough for it to be a Yezu FTDX 10. So uh, I suppose better open it and see what we've got. Let's get it open. inside okay there's be quite a long package ah well that looks like a very tiny stubby UHF VHF antenna from TID radio what else have we got and this looks like, well, I was about to say a Nagoya 771 VHF UHF antenna, but apparently it's a TID Radio 771 antenna. Interesting. All right. Something to test. What's in here? Ah, and a speaker mic. So this is the TID radio speaker mic. Uh, nice rotating belt clip. I like those. Um, and it actually feels like it's got a bit of weight to it. So I suppose there's nothing else to do but to get all this tested and uh, see what we think. Let's crack on. Right, okay then. Let's start with the speaker mic, I think. Uh, so this is the TD Hotel Mic 060. You can see that there. Um, like I say, it has got the rotating belt clip, lapel clip there, and by the look of things, yeah, that can be removed. It's a, a slide on and clicking thing. Uh, there isn't really that much to say about it. It does feel certainly chunkier and heavier and slightly better quality than the ones that you get from the companies like uh, Baofeng, Bofeng. Push to talk feels quite good on it. But the best thing we can do with this really is get it tested. So the way that I'm gonna do this is, this is the TID Radio TD H8, um, which we will plug. Oh no, we'll just leave this as it is for now. Let's put an antenna on it. Let's use that new little stubby antenna, see how good that is. I'm going to have this as our receive radio, so that's going to be set up here. And I'm going to take the TID radio speaker mic along with the TD H3. And we are going to go outside, transmit with this on its own, then transmit with this. And we're also going to do transmissions with, uh, I'm not sure if you're aware, Welcome. one of the menu, menu settings. Just have to find it. There we go. So option 45. Uh, in the menus on these is mic gain. Mic gain gives you a little bit of amplification before it transmits. So we're going to check it at the default of 5 and we're also going to set the mic gain at 10 to see whether or not it makes a difference when transmitting from the radio and when transmitting from the speaker mic that's also attached. We'll do that and then when we've done that what we'll do is we will plug the speaker mic into this radio and see how good this actual speaker is on the uh, speaker mic itself in comparison to what we've heard through the uh, H8 internal speaker. Right, so let's get on with it, get it all set up and uh, we'll do some tests. Is the frequency use? Is the frequency use? Nothing heard. This is Mike 7 Echo Uniform Papa checking the audio quality of the internal microphone on the TDH3 from TID Radio with a mic gain level set to 5. Mike 7 Echo Uniform Papa checking audio quality of the internal microphone on the TID Radio TDH3 with a mic gain level of 5. 
This is Mike 7 Echo Uniform Pumper, checking the audio quality of the TID Radio Accessory Hand Mic. The TID Radio Accessory Hand Speaker Mic with a mic gain level of 5. Mike 7 Echo Uniform Pumper, checking the audio quality of the TID Radio Speaker Mic with a mic gain level of 5. This is Mike 7 Echo Uniform Papa checking the audio quality of the internal microphone on the TID Radio TDH3 with the mic gain level set to 9. The mic gain level set to 9 on the TID Radio TDH3 checking the audio quality of the internal mic. This is Mike 7 Echo Uniform Papa checking the audio quality of the accessory speaker mic from TID Radio with the mic gain set to 9. The mic gain is set to 9 on the TID Radio TDH3 using the TID Radio accessory speaker mic. Well, I think it's fair to say that was quite a successful test. The TID Radio microphone quality inside the speaker mic is actually really, really good. Um, I didn't see much difference. Just turn that on a moment. I didn't actually see much difference in the uh, uh, the audio in when the mic game was set to five or set to nine. I know that there have been some firmware updates and this has been addressed, but uh, that's up for you uh, for you to decide really. If, if you uh, get the TID radios and 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 download the latest firmwares for them, it's something I'm certainly going to do, and we may test that at a later date. Uh, now we need to test the actual quality of the speaker itself inside here. So again, we're going to go similar thing. First of all, we're going to leave the uh, H8 here just as it is and we're going to listen to the speaker quality from the radio itself and then the speaker quality from the speaker mic by plugging it in so let's get on with that mic 7 echo uniform papa checking audio quality of the tdh8 speaker this is the tdh8 speaker as it is receiving from the tdh3 mic 7 echo uniform papa testing audio of the tdh8 speaker now let's plug in the speaker mic and see if that makes any difference or if it's a big difference this is mic 7 echo uniform papa checking the quality of the speaker in the tid radio accessory speaker mic testing the quality of the speaker in the tid radio speaker mic mic 7 echo uniform papa testing audio quality of the speaker in the speaker mic so again, actually, I think that's uh, quite a conclusive test. It seems that this is pretty good quality. I wouldn't say it's as good quality as something like the Kenwood. This is the KMC45. But the, for, for the price itself uh, that you would pay for that, this is a pretty good contestant uh, in terms of speaker mics. Certainly, like I say, better than the, the really cheap $7 buffing speaker mics that I've uh, had sent to me in the past. TID Radio seems to have done quite a good job with that. I'd be quite happy to use that one out and about. So if you were to go onto the TID Radio website today and get yourself one of these speaker mics, the HM060, they're currently on sale for $15.99. That's in US dollars. Normal price is $29.99. However, if you use the affiliate link in the description below, you will automatically get 10% off any product in the uh, TID Radio store uh, using that affiliate link. And that's through, uh, through my YouTube channel. Right, we've done that. That all sounds great. Let's have a think about these. So this is the, I keep wanting to say Nagoya 771, but it's the TID Radio 771, and also the TD805S. But we're gonna do that in another video. So please make sure you like and subscribe and hit the notification button, and you will be notified as soon as the video is released where I test these two antennas. Apart from that, thank you very much for watching. As always, I appreciate your thumbs up, your likes, your comments, and I try and answer every comment as well. Catch you in the next video. Thanks again.